Hi guys, I am Dr. Vinod Pankaj Misra and you are welcome in my YouTube channel Pankaj Institute of English. So dear friends, I am here with 200 MCQs of research methods and materials in English. I have completed from question number 1 to 63 up to part 4. This is part 5. These questions are very useful for competitive exam. So, if you want to learn these questions, please subscribe to Pankaj Institute of English and like and share it with you. Let's start our first question, question number 64. When, question number 64. Yes. When accessing the internet, which of these steps is the most essential? Option A, recording the full URL. Option B, noting the access dates. dates. Option C, downloading the material to be the referenced. And option D, they are all equally important. So the correct answer of this question is option D. They all are, they are all equally important. Now question number 65. According to the Harvard referencing, referencing, referencing convention, which is the correct reference? Option A. Bremen. Uh, option A. Bremen. Bremen. A. Uh, 2012-4E Social Research Methods Oxford. Oxford, Oxford University Press. Option B, Bryman 2012, 4th edition, Oxford University Press. Option C, Bryman Allen Social Research Methods 2012, OUP. And option D, Bryman a Social Research Method 2012. So the correct answer is option A, Bryman is the correct answer. Now question number 66. Now question number 66. Which of the following statement about plagiarism is most accurate? Option A. It is so easy to copy and paste from the internet that everyone does it nowadays. If a proper reference is given, where is the, uh, where is the harm of that? Option B. How can we say for sure where our own ideas come from exactly? If we try to give a reference for everything, we could never hope to succeed. Option C. Any suggestion that we have written what another actually wrote is morally wrong. Anyway, the whole point of the literature review is to show what we have read and what we thought about it. And option D. Plagiarism is such an awful crime that those found guilty, found guilty should be obliged to bear a scarlet P on their clothing. So the correct answer. So the correct answer is option C. Any suggestion, any suggestion that we have written, that we have written, another actually wrote. This, so option C is the correct answer. Now question number 67, a variable that is the presumed cause of any effect is option A, the dependent variable, option B, the independent variable, option C, a moderating variable and option D, an intervening variable. So the correct answer is option B, the independent variable. Now question number 68. Which of the following ideas is not associated with the stance of situation ethics? Option A, anything goes. Option B, principled re relativism. Option C, the end uh, justifies the means. And option D, no choice. No choice. So the correct answer of this question is option A, anything goes. Now question number 69. Reliability in Quantitative research refers to option A, the consistency of any measure, option B, the suitability of any measure, option C, both A and B, and option D, neither A or B. So the correct answer of this one is option A, the consistency of the cons consistency of any measure. Now question number 
नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी ऑप्शन ए सिक्सटी नाइन का ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द फार्म ऑफ हार्म दैट माइट बी सपर्ड बाय रिसर्च पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑप्शन ए फिजिकल इंजरी ऑप्शन बी स्ट्रेस एंड एंजाइटी ऑप्शन सी इम्पेयर्ड डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द एब ऑल ऑफ द एब सो ऑप्शन डी इज ऑल ऑफ द एब इज द करेक्ट आंसर dear friends these questions are very useful for competitive exam so listen and these questions again and again now question number 71 why is it important that personal data about research participants are kept within secure confidential and record option a so that the participants cannot find out what has been written about them option b so that individual place or organization cannot be harmed through the identification or disclosure of personal information option c so that government official teachers and other people in authority can have easy access to the data and option d to enable to the research to track down individuals and find out more about their lives so the correct answer of so the correct answer of this question is option b option b so that individual place so that individual place or organization cannot be harmed through the identification or discourse of personal information now question number 72 which method is most commonly associated with a lack of informed consent option a in depth interviewing option b qualitative content analysis option c covert observation and option d structured interviewing structured interviewing so option c covert observation option c is the correct answer why is it easier said than done why is it easier said than done to ensure that the principle of informed consent is adhered to option a it is not partic particable to present participable to present every participant with all the information about the study option b sometime it is desirable to with old certain pieces of information such as the length of time an interview will take option c if the participant knew exactly what the researcher was intending to study they might change their behavior and option d all of the above all of the above so the correct answer is option d all of the above all of the above is the correct answer now question number 74 apart from the fact that it that it is not a nice thing to do p133 what is an important ethical disadvantage of deceiving participants option a it can damage the professional reputation of the researcher and their discipline option b it makes it more difficult to gain access to deviant or hidden popu population option c it means that records of personal data about the participant cannot be made anonymous and option d none of the above none of the above so option a it can damage the professional reputation of the researcher and their discipline option a is the correct answer now question number 75 which of the following factor does not add a add a political dimension to the research process option a the researcher's values beliefs and prior assumption option b the response rate of literary survey option c the wasted and uh, interest of the funding body and option d a gatekeeper's concerns about uh, representation so the correct answer of this question is option b the response rate of literary survey 
नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सिक्स दिस इज द सेकेंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस वीडियो डियर फ्रेंड्स यदि आपको इस प्रकार के क्वेश्चन पसंद आए तो इन्हें ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लाइक करिए शेयर करिए और यदि आप चैनल के लेना है तो प्लीज इसे सब्सक्राइब करिए बेल आइकॉन को प्रेस करिए ताकि इस प्रकार के वीडियो जब भी अपलोड हों तो उनका नोटिफिकेशन आप तक पहुँच सके रिलायबिलिटी एंड रिलायबिलिटी इन क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च द फर्स्ट टू ऑप्शन ए द कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ एनी मेजर ऑप्शन बी द कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ द मैथड्स यूज टू कलेक्ट डाटा ऑप्शन सी द सुटेबिलिटी ऑफ द मेजर यूज एंड ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द एब ऑल ऑफ द एब सो ऑप्शन बी द कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ द मैथड्स यूज टू कलेक्ट डाटा ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ दिस इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन एन ऑपरेशनल डेफिनेशन इज One that bears no relation to the underlying concept. Option B, an abstract theoretical definition of the concept. Option C, a definition of the concept in terms of a specific empirical measure. And option D, one that refers to opera singers and their works. So the correct answer of this one is option C. Dear friends, I hope that you have liked this particular question. Thank you for watching. Thank you for.